Hey everybody, it's Mary from the Benny Bar, and today we're going to be doing a beginner level mat Pilates coursework. So I found that for me during this time especially, it's really important to keep up my Pilates practice, and I want to make things readily available for you, so if you're just beginning a Pilates practice, you may be extra fit and well, but have never done a teaser in your life, and I want to make sure that we've got things available at a beginner's level that you can continue to move and work and start or maintain your Pilates practice. So let's go ahead and get started today. We're going to be standing for a warm-up. So we'll just come to your mat right here, and we're going to take our feet parallel, toes facing forward, and right here we're going to releve, lift the heels, and Take the arms up overhead to frame the face. Finding that balance. Inhale, lift, lengthen, exhale, lower. Getting in touch with your body, tying your breath to your movement. Connecting with yourself. just like this. And from here, we'll move into kind of a squat or chair pose. Flat through the back, reach the arms forward, and lift up. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, press through the feet, straighten up. From here, we'll float our arms out to a T. We're going to think about rooting the hips and feet down into the mat, and we're going to take a spine twist. We're going to inhale to prepare, and on the exhale, twist to the side, inhale, return. Really important here that the twisting action is happening through your torso, and making sure that you're not leading with your shoulder, pushing it around. The movement is actually quite small, twisting through the body. So if you're having trouble from this position, staying straight and tall with your arms out, or feeling like you are leading through your arms, bringing your hands to heart center. This can be a really great way for you to find the twist in your torso, and you can catch yourself if you're trying to push through your arms. We're concentrating on keeping our hands into our heart, arms by the body, and we're focusing on the real twisting action happening through the torso. Think about wringing out your torso the way that you would with a wet washcloth. <sighs> wringing the air out as you twist, and then inhale, release, and exhale to the opposite way. Let's get through some lateral flexion right here. We're going to reach up and over. We're going to keep this hand by the side of our body to slide down and guide us here. We want to make sure that we don't twist or collapse through the chest. Exhale. Reach out to the other side. Inhale, lift. Exhale, up and over. I think you're reaching up and out of your hip. Inhale. I want you to really get used to the sound of your own breath as well. Get comfortable with your breathing. Tie it into your movement. Don't feel like you need to stifle it because people might be listening. One more right here. If this movement feels good, you can take any of these warm-up movements and do after class, anytime during the day to get those things moving, get yourself aware of your core and aware of your breath and connected, you can take those exercises anytime. Right here, let's go with one final one. We're gonna tuck the chin to the chest. 
and roll down through the spine. Now, if this is first thing in the morning for you, and you're still feeling a little bit compressed in your spine, this might be less comfortable. If you've been up and moving and you're getting you know, more fluid into those discs of your spine, then this will feel just fine right here. This is like the roll up, but we're standing, tucking chin to the chest, C curving through the spine, and allowing ourselves to roll down one vertebrae at a time, lengthen. You may be touching the floor, you may be nowhere near the floor, and it's just fine. We're feeling that stretch through the back of the legs. We're feeling our core work leading us through this. Let's take one more right here. exercise the hundred. So we'll go ahead and come down onto our back and I'm going to show you several options here. For the hundred, you can be down here with your arms at stretch, reaching the arms out, fingertips pulling away, and pulsing through the arms, engaging through the core. You can also lift up head, neck, and shoulders and be here. You can take any of the leg progressions with the head down, or you can be lifted up with the feet down. So typically, we would start in tabletop position for our 100. To make it more challenging, we take it up 90 degrees. And the full exercise that is most challenging is out 45 degrees, maintaining neutral pelvis, meaning we're not slouching here and we're not getting this big gap behind our back as our feet reach out in the way. We're keeping our pelvis right here in a neutral position. That triangle is even and level. So, taking whatever position works for you, go peel up head, neck, and shoulders, unless you're down. We're going to inhale two, three, four, five, and exhale. Inhale two, three, four, five, and exhale two, three, four, five. Inhale through the nose, and exhale through the mouth. Inhale two, three, four, five, and exhale two, three, four, five. Inhale two, three, four, five, and exhale two, three, four, five. Inhale two, three, four, five, exhale two, three, four, five. Inhale two, three, four, five, and exhale two, three, four, five. Inhale two, three, four, five, and exhale. Inhale two, three, four, five, and exhale. Inhale two, three, four, five, exhale. And inhale two, three, four, five, and exhale two, three, four, five. Lower down head, neck, and shoulders. Draw the knees in towards the chest and let your head come side to side, stretching out through the neck. We're next going to go into our abdominal series of five today. And we're going to give you a couple of options. First, we're going to start out with our single leg stretch. So from here, we're going to extend one leg away. We're maintaining that neutral pelvis throughout all of our exercises, let's find it right here. So usually when you're laying in this position, you're in a neutral position where you have a small gap at the low of your back and your spine is in its natural curvature. If you place your hands to your pelvis, your pubic bone is in line with your hip bones. We're going to keep that there and we're going to try not to jam our low back into the mat during these exercises and we're also going to make sure that we don't flare the ribcage and get extra space. We just have that small gap at the low of our back while we're going through these exercises. Let's begin here. We're going to pull the left knee into the body, right leg reaches out. We're going to pull and maintain that neutral pelvis and we'll switch. Switch, 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 switch. Now we can intensify this exercise by peeling up head, neck, and shoulders. Or you can leave it down. We'll inhale for one, two, exhale, one, two. Inhale, exhale, keep it going. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Let's take two more sets. One and two. Pull those knees in. Good. From here, we're going to go into the double leg stretch. Right here, we're going to lengthen both the legs out. So we're curled up into this tight ball right here. We're going to lengthen the legs out, bring the arms up to frame the face, both going out to 45 degrees. Circle in into that tight ball. Good. Again, extending out. 
and coming in. Pay close attention here to where your pelvis and spine are. We don't want them to go like this when you reach away. Remember to maintain that neutral position. Reaching out. If you're feeling impossible to hold that while you reach out to 45 degrees, we need to take that a little bit more narrow. Bring it up towards 90 degrees or somewhere in between. Reach up. Snow angel, circle the arms in. Okay, so I want you to find the positioning that works for you here. We're going to exhale as we reach away. And inhale, circle the arms around. Now you can intensify this by peeling up head, neck, and shoulders. Reach away. Circle back and around. In this exercise, we're coming from our closest, most closed off position to our most open, while our abdominals stabilize our body. Let's take two more. Good, lower down, head, neck, and shoulders. Next, we're gonna be going into the crisscross exercise. We're gonna keep the legs up in tabletop, or if necessary, you can bring your feet down. That's completely fine there. We're gonna take the hands behind the head, elbows out wide. Now, for this exercise, I want you to think about ringing and twisting, and then reaching up and through. So sometimes we'll see this exercise performed like this, where people are just trying to bring their elbow to the knee. We're gonna think about reaching the elbow beyond the knee, twisting, ringing through the body, and coming right back down. So we're gonna peel up one shoulder blade, and if that arm were extended, it would be reaching beyond the knee, and we'll come right back down. Exhale, inhale, return. Exhale. Inhale, return. Exhale. And inhale, return. Exhale. Now you can make this more challenging here by taking the leg that's the same side as your elbow that's lifting and reaching, and that leg reaches out and lengthens out straight. Return. Reach. Return. Reach. Inhale, coming back. Exhale, extending up forward. We're taking this nice and slow and controlled. So you can keep that pelvis stable throughout this exercise. Bring it back in. Let's add on a little something fun right here. Now as we lift up, we're going to lengthen the arm out, we're going to hold here. Now we're going to extend, reach that leg away, and we're going to lower and lift. Lower and lift. Control and stabilize. Good. Four. I think it's four. Five. Pull the knee back in. Switch sides. Extend. Extend the leg out. Let's lower and lift. Lower and lift. Three, four, hold that body still. Five, drag in. Let's do that again, both sides. Extend, reach up. Lower and lift. For two, three, four, find that oblique. Five, draw in, reach back around the other way. For five, four, three, two, and one. Draw in and come back around. Next, we're going to go into our single straight leg stretch. So first, let's plant the right foot down. Extend the left foot up. So we want our head, neck, and shoulders lifting up off the mat. And we want to be holding it on, ideally underneath that ankle right here in this calf. And we're going to pull in. I'm going to take two pulls. Pull, pull, and switch. Other leg comes up. Pull, pull, and switch. Pull, pull, and switch. We want this leg absolutely straight. This is about using the abdominals and also lengthening through the hamstring. Sometimes you can call this the hamstring stretch as well. 
pull, pull, and switch. Now to intensify this, take that standing leg, float it out in the way, just hold there. Pull, pull, switch, pull, pull, switch, pull, pull, switch, pull, pull, switch. Good, keep it going. Feel your abdominals working there, stabilize. Let's take one more set and bring both those legs up. Lay down head neck and shoulders. Try to lengthen those legs straight towards the ceiling. For this straight, uh, double straight leg stretch, we want the legs to be perfectly straight. However, if that's impossible or you're really tight through the hamstrings, you can make this a little bit easier by adding a bend through the legs. We're going to lift head neck and shoulders, elbows out wide, and we're going to reach the legs away and draw back in. Really important here, this is where people will most likely lose their neutral pelvis. Keep it steady, which means we don't lengthen to the floor so our back goes like this. We're in control and we reach away 45 degrees. We'll be just fine and pulling back in. And left. Good, you may find yourself here and you'll feel a little bit less load pulling away. Good. Some other options are to take the head down, reach your wings, stabilize. And when your head's down here, you probably won't be able to reach the legs quite as far away and you'll feel it working just fine. Right here and back in. Let's take two more wherever you're at. Draw the knees in, and let's just pull those knees in, give a little rock from side to side, a little massage for the low back. rolling exercises. So we're going to challenge ourselves today to do the open leg rocker, which is quite a challenging exercise. We're going to start out rolling like a ball. So we're going to come into this ball-like shape right here, balancing on our sit bones. Our spine is in a C curve. And we're going to inhale as we roll back. Exhale forward. And we're going to try to balance at the top. If your toes are tapping down like this, just bring it right back up. And eventually, You'll be able to rise up without your toes tapping forward. I will give you a hint. That breath there is really important. Inhaling back. And exhaling coming up. Remember that breath. The breath is really going to help you for the open leg rocker. Okay, so we're just going to practice here. In the open leg rocker, we lift our legs out straight, and they're open and separated here, and our chest opens up straight. So we see curve as we roll back and then we straighten up at the top. So let's give this a little go here. Let's just go from our ball shape, hold on to the back of the legs, and reach up into open leg rocker position. Fold forward, C curve, lift up straight and tall through the spine and try to balance. You might find that this is a quite an exercise in and of itself to just come back and forth here and we'll give it a go for just a couple with the open leg rocker. So we go from this C curve position to lifting up tall as if we were in a teaser. And you may find that impossible to come to that position. So if that's the case, hold behind the knees, C curve and bring the legs together, and then open up the knees wide, sit up tall through the spine. And just play back and forth here. Perhaps you're not able to roll back with the straight legs, but you may be able to come into the open leg rocker from here. Now, let's give it a go. So we're going to start coming back by C curving through the spine on an inhale, and on the exhale, we'll reach up and straighten. Shoulder blades and try to avoid rolling back with so much momentum that you go to your head. 
come here and find that fine balance rocking back and forth. So practice those, get going with it, feel all your core is supporting there. And if that's too much or the rocking isn't happening, bring that rolling back to a ball and perhaps take the ball wide, roll back to the shoulder blades on an inhale. And on an exhale, practice sitting up tall. See her back, sit up tall with the top. That's gonna help you to be able to progress into that open leg rocker. Now next, we're gonna go into our saw exercise. So go ahead and take those legs back up for me. Flex through the heels. We're gonna release the hands, or hold on if you need to, and allow those feet to come down, sitting up nice and tall. Now we're in the position for the saw. We want our feet to be flexed and about mat width apart, if not wider. Sitting up straight through the spine. If you feel this impossible, sit on the block to help you sit up straighter. You can add a slight bend through the legs so that you're sitting up straight. It's better to be here than to be slouched back with the legs straight, excuse me. So right here, taking the arms up to the side. We're gonna exhale as we twist this side and reach. Ideally, we want this pinky finger to go outside the pinky toe, and we want our back hand turned up towards the ceiling and our gaze back here. If that's quite uncomfortable for your neck, you can bring your gaze forward. Inhale as we lift up, twist to the side and reach on that exhale. Inhale, sit up top. Exhale, twist and reach. Inhale, stack it up top. Exhale, twist and reach. Keep it coming with me. Inhale, sitting up nice and tall. Exhale, twist and reach. Inhale, stack up nice and tall. Exhale, twist and reach. Let's take one last set. Inhale as we stack up top. Exhale, twist and reach. Inhale, sitting up nice and tall. Exhale, twist and reach. And stack up here. Recenter, bring the legs together. We're going to go into the spine twist. And your arms can either be straight out or you can come back into that prayer pose with your knee right here. So we're going to exhale as we twist to the side. Inhale, return. Exhale, twist. Inhale, return. Now you notice here that my movement through the body, it isn't huge. Exhale, recenter. center. Inhale, recenter. Exhale, twist. You guys have it backwards. Let's go into a little double pulse. So we'll exhale, exhale, inhale, return. So we go a little bit, a little bit more, and return. Still leading for my torso, not pushing through my arms or shoulder. We're also thinking about keeping the hips and the feet steady. Continue going here. Think about that being strapped down, heels and on the hips. So if we get shifting through our heels in this exercise, what that means is that our hips and our pelvis are shifting, right? Just keeping that steady. Return. Return. Good. Ooh, let's go ahead and bend in those legs and just take the knees a little wide and fold forward for a moment. Breathing deeply. To a little bit more rolling to do kind of a preview for the rollover and the jackknife, but we're going to use rolling like a ball to get there. So we're actually placing our hands on the floor. Go ahead and watch one first. We'll inhale to prepare. Exhale, we'll roll back and try to hold those knees over top of the hips. If that's impossible to hold here, you want to make sure that you can balance through the shoulder blades comfortably and that it's not coming onto your head. So come to this place. Hands planted here, come to this place right here where the knees are over the head, and you can find that balance. Make sure that you hit the balance on the shoulder blades before extending. If you have any neck, shoulder issues where you shouldn't be coming inverted, please skip this and just do traditional rolling like a ball. Otherwise, we'll come back here. Try to straighten the legs out, and then bend and roll back in. and bend and roll back in. Proceed with caution. I can't see you here or advise you whether or not you should be doing it. I don't know your circumstances. So 
So you pay close attention to your body for me. to your head and neck. And we'll just go ahead and twist out. Good. Okay. Next, we're going to go into a variation of the like pull down and add in a push up here. So we're going to take the hands directly underneath the shoulders and we're going to go ahead and walk the knees back beyond the hips and come into a plank position. Now I'm going to straighten my right leg. You may find that you need to center your left leg a little bit more on the mat. And right here, we're going to lift and lower the leg. We'll do this for five, four, three, two, one. Keep that leg floating. Bend the elbows so you're sucking the elbows back. They stay tight to the body. Come down to a push-up for one. Two, three, four, and five. Good. Bring that knee back in. If that's too much with the leg up, just tap the toe down and bring the knee back for the push ups. Extend the other leg long and we'll lift for five, four, three, two, one. Hold up, lower down for five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Right here we're going to go into some side planking exercises. We'll start with a twist. So we're going to stack and try with our knees down first. Place a hand underneath the shoulder. And from here, we're going to lift up so we feel more in the side plank. You can lengthen out that um, top leg into this side plank. And from here, we're going to dip the hip down. Hand comes up. Now we're going to lift the hip, reach the arm through, and twist through the body. Again, lifting up. Dip the hip down. You can be doing this in a full plank as well. Again, lifting up, dip the hip down, lift and press through. Again, hip down, lift, turn and twist. Good. Let's go ahead and take it to a full plank if you want, or do one more where you're at. Dip the hip down, lift and press through. Good. Lifting back. And go ahead and lower it down. Let's take it to the other side. Again, starting with the hand right underneath the shoulder, fingertips facing out towards your wall. We'll lengthen that one leg. Push up. Knee coming down at an angle, so it's not directly underneath the hip, but you're coming at an angle still. Arm up to the sky. We'll dip the hip, fill that twist through your body, and then we'll lift and twist under and through. Again, reset for two, lifting up. Now that hip can either be floating or making 
making full contact with the mat for a little rest right here. Lift and press through. Two more. And one more. If you'd like to join me in that full side plank for the exercise, right here. Deeper here. Go ahead and come down. Okay, our final exercise for the day, we're going to play with the rocking. So, due to flexibility and things, if you're kind of tight through your legs or through your back, you might want to grab a towel or a stretch band for this right now that you'll pull through your feet and try to lift up and open through the chest. So, we're going to come onto the stomach. Let's take the knees wide to the width of the mat. We'll make things easier. And we're going to reach back and go ahead and grab on to the shins right below your ankle right here. If you already can't reach back and pull this in, then you'll know that you're going to need a towel or a stretch strap to help here. And what we're going to try to do here is lift the legs off. Feel that stretch and lower back down. Good. Let's do this four more times. And lower. Exhale, lift. And lower. And two. And one. Now, let's try lifting the upper body, just the upper body, and keep the legs down. For four. Three. and one, and you guessed what's coming next. We're going to try to lift both at the same time. Lift up, reach the legs away, lift the upper body, and lower down. The rocking, we hold this position and rock back and forth. And today we're just going to practice stretching and reaching through this position. Take one more. Bring it down. Release the feet. Bring the hands underneath the shoulders. And we're going to press back into a rest pose or a child's pose here. Breathing deeply. Inhaling through the nose. Exhaling through the mouth. Breathing deeply here. You have done great in your practice today. Be sure to come back and join me again. I've got a lot of options for mat Pilates, springboard Pilates, and bar workouts. I'll see you guys next time in the studio.